What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. The blood I was shed on Calvary Cross. The blood, the blood, the blood. Uh, there is nothing. The only thing is the Lord, the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. The blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood. Oh yes, there is power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood, the blood, the blood, wonder working power. Oh yes, oh yes, the blood. Mm. Oh, yes. you this morning we give you glory we give you praise we thank you once again in jesus name once again i bring you greetings from god the father and of the son and of the holy spirit it is our prayer everywhere that you are listening to us that the lord will bless you the lord god will increase you the lord will cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace in the name of jesus christ remember peter said there is no name given unto us under the sun in heaven and anywhere to be saved except the name of the lord jesus christ the bible says jesus said he came to save the lost 
I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you know that there is no other name. The only name that we have that has been given unto us is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee bow. Every knee bow. Because he humbled himself unto death. And by humbling himself, he was given a name. And at the mention of that name, every knee bow. And his name is Jesus Christ. I pray that you will find salvation. There is no name. You cannot find salvation anywhere except in the name of Jesus Christ. And the other leaders that came could not tell their followers where they will, they will go after death. But Jesus Christ was able to say that I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by me. It's only Jesus Christ. It's only Jesus Christ. When Jesus met the woman at the well, in John chapter 4, Jesus told the woman, a day is coming. And now is the time that the true worshippers must worship the Father in spirit and in truth. In spirit, through the Holy Spirit, in truth, is Jesus Christ. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth. The truth cometh from no one. John said in John 1, 17, that the truth, he said that God, uh, the, the law was given to us by Moses. But truth and grace come through our Lord Jesus Christ. It's only Jesus. He came. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. If you're looking for salvation, if you're looking for life, the Bible says, Him is life, and that life is the light of man. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. He came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus says, Since I am the, in this world, I am the light of this world. Whoever follows me will not walk in the in darkness, but will walk in life, light of life. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Not only just come into Jesus, but when you come to him, seek him, follow him, and do his will. There is none beside him, neither there is any rock like our God. His name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says he's coming. And he has a reward in his son. He will give it according to his word. One day our Jesus will come. Somebody said, don't believe it. Yes, you can disbelieve it. You can do whatever you want. Like you can run away, but you cannot hide. Whether you like it or not, one day you leave this earth. Somebody said that for long we heard that Jesus is coming. Yes, the Bible says that in this last days, coffers will come. And they will say, where is the promise of the Father? Uh, since our Father slept, we were told He's coming. Listen to me, my brother, my sister. Well, nobody knows the time. Nobody knows the hour. The Bible says He will come like a thief. But remember, the Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die. And after that judgment, you can leave the earth any time that nobody knows. But when your day comes, when your time comes, where will you go? Somebody, we are in the line. We are in the line. And nobody knows his or her place in the line. But it is my prayer. It is my prayer that we will live our full life on this earth. But whether we like it or not, at the end of our life, there is a place. There is a place that we will all go. And are you sure you are prepared? My brother, my sister, are you sure? Somebody that is listening to us, are you sure? Our oh, Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. My Jesus is coming. He is coming. The Bible says He is coming. And He has His reward in His hand. He will give to everybody according to their ways. According to their ways. It is my prayer. Everywhere that you are listening, this is our prayer. That we will live according to His will. The battle is of the Lord. I started talking about this message. The battle is of the Lord. The battle that we are fighting. It's of the Lord. One day our Jesus will come. One day our Jesus will come. A child of God, my brother, my sister. What battle are you before? What are you fighting? What is your trouble? What is your pain? What are you going through? The Bible says we should come to Him. And lay our burdens on Him. Come to Him. Oh, ye that labors and are heavily laden. And the Lord will give us rest. Remember the Bible says for our weapons. Of our warfare are not carnal, are not flesh, but they have divine power. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. 
The battle is of the Lord. The battle. What battle are you facing? What trouble? What are you going through? And leave it all to the Lord. Come to Him and leave your troubles. There are many troubles on this earth. Jesus even told us that in this earth we will have trouble. But we should be at peace for He has overcome this world. Remember again the Bible says whoever is born of God is a little children. Whoever is born of God overcome this world. And this is the victory. Our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. My brother, my sister, Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. It is not of just going to church or holding the Bible or preaching the gospel. It's believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and living according to His will. Because whether you like it or not, one day our Jesus will come. He will come. He's coming. Somebody say, I don't believe it. How can you believe it? You have a choice to believe it or disbelieve it. Because it's not what you believe. It's not what you think. It is what the word of God says. You can disbelieve. Hey, you can, you can. Hey, recently I saw a group of, they called themselves pastors from Nigeria. They were burning the Bible. They said they were driving Jesus Christ away. <laughs> and I just smiled. Do you know many years how people have fought the gospel? Nations fought the gospel. The presidents fought the gospel. Kings fought the gospel. But yes, still know none of them has been able to overcome. Because Jesus said, the words I speak, they are spirits and they are life. It is a spirit, the word of God is a spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you have that illumination and that illumination will give light to your feet. Greetings to you, my brother Daniel. All the way. Happy New Year. Happy blessed New Year to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year to all our listeners. May this month be a month of fruitfulness. May this month be a month of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The battle belongs to God. The battle belongs to God. We saw Jehoshaphat. How the Amorites, the Moabites, and the other, they gathered together and came against Jehoshaphat without him knowing. Hey, a child of God, listen. The Bible says they don't know their God. I pray that you know him. It is not somebody who have heard who going to church. But know you who Jesus is. Know you who. The Bible says they that know their God, they will be strong and do exploit. My prayer is that you submit yourself therefore to God. When you submit yourself to God, you'll be able to resist the devil. Find your place in the Lord. For the Lord to fight your battle. Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 The word of God says For the Lord your God Is he who goes with you Before you To fight for you Against your enemies To give you victory Hey God will surely give you victory If you find your place And your position in the Lord This is my prayer for you Seek him The Bible says we should seek him Where you be found And call upon him While he is near Not every place not every place of God where you go, you find Jesus. Not everywhere. I pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus told the woman at the well, he said that the true worshippers, a day is coming, and now is the time that the true worshippers, they will worship the Father in spirit. In spirit means through the Holy Ghost and in truth through Jesus Christ. Come to Him. You'll find salvation for you. So the battle belongs to God. Let's turn our Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. And we see the Israelites being led by the king Saul. How they were running away from a Philistine. A Philistine. But a young boy like David came and understand the battle. He understand this scripture. Second Corinthians chapter 10, 10 verse 4. He understood it. That, that for our weapons they are not carnal. They are mighty through God. To the pulling down of every stronghold. David understood it. The Bible says that. Now the Philistines gathered together. Their army to battle. And were gathered together in Shechem. Which belongs to Judah. And so. And their men, the men of Israel, were gathered together and perched by the valley of Elah and set the battle in array against Philistines. My brother, a child of God, what battle are you? 
There are many people, some, somebody is fighting a sickness. Maybe you are on your sick bed and you are listening to me. You are listening to me and asking yourself, how can I be healed? Some people have made a conclusion. You have concluded that the sickness will take you to your death. You are not going to get any healing because you are like the woman with the issue of blood. Have attend to many physicians, run from one place to another, thinking that there is not going to be a healing for me. When um, am I going to receive healing? Where is the physician coming? I pray in the name of Jesus Christ and I recommend one great physician and his name is Jesus Christ. If you have come to Jesus, rely on him, trust in him, believe in him. The Bible says we should not uh, lay on our, our own understanding, but in everything we should acknowledge him. And he will bring it to pass. Our Jesus will bring it to pass. And name above every name. And he is life, and that life is the light of God. I don't know the battle that you have arranged. Maybe like the woman with the issue of blood went through many and nothing was going well for, for her. Everybody was saying that, oh no, no, no. But when she saw Jesus Christ coming, she had no argument. There is a song that goes, I have no argument. I have no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. You have no argument, my brother, my sister, in him is life. If you have come to Jesus, abide in him. Abide in him. One morning, one day, one morning, you will rise up with joy because the battle belongs to God. If you know how to fight your battle, in our language, we have an, a proverb that says that if you know how to fight your battle, the Lord will not fight. But if you give it to the Lord, He will fight your battle for you. Give it to Him. Israel had an enemy, and that enemy was the Philistines. The Philistines gathered together against, and there was one leader very strong. He caused Israel to shake. He caused them to tremble. What is causing you to tremble in life? Maybe your issue is financial issue. The enemy has sought poverty in your life. You think, hey, I will every day tells you, not everybody who's failing is lazy. Not everybody. You go to Africa, people, men and women are failing. It is not because they are lazy. Who told you? Some people are doing everything, but to no avail. Because the enemy will lock your spirit somewhere. Your, your spirit man or spirit woman. They, they are very wicked. This witch is a wizard. Somebody say you don't believe you sit down. There is a pastor who, who preach. A pastor who preach and say that there is no witches. There is no, there is no, he's evil. He's demon. He's evil. He's demon. He is in Ghana. Says, his name is Adumche. He's evil. He's demon. And people don't know. Any man of God who says there is, there is no witches and wizards, they are the co-agents of the devil. So long as the devil is alive, you cannot tell me. They deceive people and lead people astray. Go to Africa. They destroy homes. They destroy young ones. They sow seed. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you be vigilant. The Bible says that we, we, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against evil forces. I pray that they will not lead people astray. I pray that is my prayer, that they will not lead people astray. Somebody listen to me. My prayer is that you come to Jesus. If you have come to Him, live a righteous life. And you find salvation for your soul. You find salvation for your soul. What battle are you fighting? Is it a physical battle? A spiritual battle? My prayer, a child of God, somebody that is listening to us, that you, you bank, you hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. First Samuel 17. The Bible said the Philistines stood on a mountain on one side and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side and there was a valley between a valley means a gap 
Maybe you look at your situation. You look around and think that there is a gap between you and your healing. You, there is a, a, a gap, a distance between you and your recovery because you look around and you see that there is no help. I have come to tell you there is Jesus. Learn how to pray. Go, learn how to go before him in prayer. Jesus came to meet his disciples and said that you could not wait with me an hour. Watch and pray that you fall not into temptation. Meaning that prayer is given to us and not to use when everything fall apart. There are many people they use prayer as a spare pass, as a spare tie, a spare part. When everything is broken, then they attend to prayer. Listen to me. Prayer is given to us to prevent all else from happening. The disciple did not go to Jesus, asking Jesus, teach us how to preach, teach us how to do this. They saw a secret in Jesus' ministry. They teach us how to pray. We want to learn how to pray because we see you praying it. I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister. There is no other name. <laughs> and the name is Jesus Christ. He will bring it to pass. Yes, there may, may be a distance, there may be uh, all trances, there may be people who think that you are not going to uh, receive any healing, success, yes, far from you. Uh, uh, Jesus, don't see it, that. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 28, the secret in life, he said, when you hearken unto me, when you believe in me and begin to do what I have commanded you, these blessings will come to you and overtake you. Believe in the Lord. Do the way of God and stand up. Lazy Christian fail. Lazy Christian fail. So long as you are praying, so long as you are doing the will of God, just make a step of faith and victory will be yours. The battle is of the Lord. Again, the battle is of the Lord. Zechariah 4 verse 6 says that this is the word of God that came to Zerubbabel. It is not your might, it is not your power, but by the Spirit, say yes, the Lord. Just give it all to the Lord. It shall surely come to pass. A day will come. A day of glory will come. A day of honor will come. His name is Jesus Christ. Israel faced a giant, faced an enemy, and the Philistines had become a thorn in the lives of the Israelites. The Bible says that uh, this man, his name was Goliath. He said, and there went a champion out of the camp of Philistines, named Goliath of God, whose height was six cubits. And this man, and he had a helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat. Sometimes we face an enemy who is dangerous, who uh, pro, 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 pretend pretend to be fearful you cannot you cannot imagine how you can overcome that enemy there are some situations you fall into that you yourself no matter how prayerful you are no matter how you love the lord <laughs> some situation will cause you to move but there is now no problem bigger than our god there is no problem bigger than our god Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Believe in the Lord. When, when the Bible says in John chapter 11, when the, uh, Jesus went to marry a martyr, went to marry a martyr, when Jesus heard that their brother Lazarus was dead, hey, in everything, when you hear the word death, you know that hope has lost. Hope has lost. Hope has lost. The last thing on this earth is to die. Because when death places its hands on you, meaning the hope has been lost. And this is a situation with, with that, with that happened to Lazarus. Happened to Lazarus. And Jesus was called. Let me ask you, my child of God, what is your situation? Maybe you think that your situation is dead. You think that this one, there is no hope. Because of what the, the doctor wrote and told you what people are saying about your situation maybe not what people are saying you yourself have seen it and heard it and everything shows that this situation is dead with jesus <laughs> matthew 19 and the verse 26 jesus said with man it is impossible but with god all things are possible the angel told mary <laughs> the mother of jesus that uh, with god nothing is impossible 
come to him. Believe in him. Mary, when Mary saw Jesus Christ, he told her, a matter to Jesus Christ, Jesus, if you have been here, my brother will not die. My brother will not die. The matter belongs to God. Give it to him. Give it to him. Lean on him. Believe in him. Don't let anything talk you from your, your trust and belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I have the resurrection and life. Whoever follows me or come to me, even if he's dead, he will resurrect. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. In him is life. My brother, my sister, your situation, there may be a gap. But with Jesus Christ, this is possible. By the time you realize you are, you'll be on the other side. By the time you realize you turn back and begin to testify. And begin to sing. To the glory of God. Somebody sang, <laughs> sang and said, Miracle working God. Miracle working God. Come and do a miracle. May the Lord perform a miracle in your life, in your destiny, in your in this generation for you to see and know that He's God. The champion will come and fly himself again, and all Israel will run away. All Israel will run away. My prayer is that you know the battle belongs to God. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will give you victory. The Lord will give you victory. Don't think your situation is dead. Go and read Ezekiel chapter 37. When Israel said that our bones are dry and there is no hope for us. There is no hope for us. There is no hope for our situation. I love within myself because every day I gain new strength from the Lord. Through prayer, victory is in Christ. Again, when you have come, when you come to Him, believe and abide in Him. Martha told Jesus when Jesus told Martha them to take away the stone. Martha said, "By this time, it smells its rot. Maybe you think that it is too late for a breakthrough. Maybe you think that there is nothing, there is nothing good can come out of you." Martha said that to Jesus. And Jesus told him, didn't I tell you to believe? If you believe, you see the glory of God. The same thing when, when Philip went and told Natalian, told Natalian, and said, Natalian, I have seen the son of a living God. A man that was, uh, there was a prophecy. Natalian said, can something good come out of Nazareth? Can something good come out of Nazareth? I don't blame Natalian. I don't blame him. Because you know, at that time, at that he knew that Nazareth was closer and there was an army barras over there. And imagine the olden days, only men go to the barracks. And everything bad thing was around the barracks. And you are coming to tell me that you have seen the son of the living God. That is coming from Nazareth. No, I don't believe it. Nothing good can come out of Nazareth. Nothing good can come out of that woman, that man, that son. The Lord will put surprises. Hey, don't, 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 don't count somebody out. Once you count him or her out, God will count him in. Remember the Bible says he chose the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. The things that people don't believe. One thing I have never and I will never do is to count somebody out in this life. The people that you least expect to succeed are the people that they will succeed. Do you know when God was chosen, Jesus was chosen his disciples, Jesus did not, work, did not go to the army barracks. Neither did he go to the, the palace or to, to the theology, the seminary. He went to the show. He went to the show. He went to the non entities and chose them. I pray in the name of Jesus. What makes difference is the spirit of God that comes upon you. He changes the sinner to the wise. He makes the simple wise. I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister. The battle belongs to God. Lay on him. Give it to him. And you win this life in the name of Jesus. You win it. Again, you win it. And your joy will be complete in the name of Jesus Christ. The battle belongs to God. Again, the battle belongs to our Lord. And he'll fight him for you. Israel said that our bones are dry. 
that the Lord visited his visitors uh, Ezekiel in that dream and the Bible says Ezekiel said in the dream I was by a valley and the valley was deep and in the valley was dry bones dry and they see the Bible used this were very dry meaning that when you see bones meaning that 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 animal or that human being is dead life has lost and there is nothing around it it has become bones he said can, can these bones live and ezekiel answered it very well he said that know it ezekiel did not show this belief or belief he said that know it a child of god let me be honest to you it is god who knows your situation and so long as god is saying i know the thought i have for you not evil to give you a future and a hope Hey, he has promised and he will never fail. One day you see the glory of God. One morning you smile. One morning you stand upon the towers and begin to rejoice. And people will ask you, is this him or uh, uh, no? <laughs> Are you sure it is her? And you say, yes, my God has sent his angels to come and shut the mouth of the lions. You see the glory of God. If you don't, if you don't quit, if you don't follow them, to the wrong way there are evil men and women of god nowadays in our generation and they will tell you god has called them to be financial preachers they have called them to be inspirational it is all lies god called everyone to go and win souls tell the people about jesus christ and lead them to heaven no matter your ministry that is my prayer for you in the name of jesus christ the battle belongs to god the battle that we are before belongs to god and our god our lord jesus christ will give you victory on every other side in the name of jesus in jesus name hallelujah and we say that and the champion went out the name goliath and shook himself and the Bible says, and he stood and cried unto the army of Israel and said unto them, Why are you come out to set your battle in array? I am not, he said, Am I not? He says, I'm not I a Philistine. And yet, servants to Saul, choose you a man for, for me and let him come down to me. Choose a man. And the Bible says, and he, if he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servant and serve us. He continued, verse, verse 10 said, and the Philistine said, I defile the army of Israel this day. Give me a man. I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister, for you to know that the battle is of the Lord. Do you know that the, the, I heard about uh, uh, an experiment that was made and was told that many people would die out of their sickness. Most of them fear killed them. The fear. There was an experiment that was made and uh, also what I read about. A man who will wake up every night and be crying in pain. Be crying in pain. And immediately that man was given an injection. The man will sleep. And one day the night he started crying. And they put water in the injection. And gave it to the man. Immediately the man received the injection. He slept. And they realized that most people that die, they die out of fear. What fear has gripped you? The opposite of fear is faith. Throw away your fear and see faith in that situation. Yes, yes, it is very difficult. A child of God, let me tell you, the Bible says, faith is a substance of things hoped for, an evidence of things not seen. An evidence of things not seen. Believe in the Lord Jesus, my brother, my sister. A child of God, believe in the Lord Jesus. <laughs> Have faith and say, enough is enough. Throw away your fears. Don't say yes. There may be a war before you. There may be an impossibility before you. You may be surrounded by unknown and nothing. Goods surrounds you. But out of that chaos, out of that darkness, comes a light. 
has a light and the light is the Lord Jesus Christ the light is the Lord I am not talking about going to church I am not talking about holding the Bible yet this is good I am talking about believing and doing the will of God getting closer you see the glory of God David said it I have been young and I'm old I have not seen the righteous the word is righteous I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we live a righteous life we see the salvation we see we see hallelujah we see it in Jesus name don't let anything defile the army of God don't let anyone defile you and tell you no you 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 it is not possible for, for you to see the glory of God you are not going to come out of that village you are not going to come out of the city you are not going to come out of that lifestyle you are not going to come out of the sickness Hannah went through when God himself locked the womb of Hannah was the ravel was giving birth and everything around Hannah was pain and sorrow the Bible says she wept and wept and wept to the point that the husband even came to him and to her and I said don't I wept more than anything nobody will understand your pain nobody can feel your pain they just imagine it they always tell you oh I can I can imagine your pain I can feel your pain it is lies it is lies nobody can imagine it or feel your pain except you yourself they imagine it at times you shed tears and your tears will make them cry it's just emotion but the pain the trouble what you are going through they will not feel i pray in the name of jesus christ that you continue to have faith yes have faith in the on the, in the lord and you see the glory. Psalm 1, Psalm 121, he says that I will lift up my eyes towards the hill. When it comes, my help, my help comes from the Lord. Your help comes from the Lord. The Philistine came out and was talking and was announcing himself. And the Israelites were in fear. Fear gripped them because of one. Let me ask you, a child of God, somebody that is listening to me, what is your Goliath? What is your Goliath? Maybe the enemy has shown a spirit of poverty. Poverty is a spirit. Poverty is a spirit. Somebody, I say, poverty is a spirit. Somebody say, I don't believe it. No. <laughs> if you come from where we come from, when you come from Africa, where you, you we come from, and you know that somebody has time to sit down and plan for somebody's downfall. The plan for recently, recently, a, a young lady died. A young lady died, and I was listening. I think she, she's a doctor, had a, a doctorate degree, and worked in one of the banks. She died in Africa, and the man was saying, Gosh, I, I said it. If you are young and you, you, you rise to a position in Africa, uh, I face it. When I was in Limes Trasimbao, when I was promoted in Limes Trasimbao, they almost killed me. They almost killed me. The day I left the secretary, the woman said, Mr. Grant, it is good that you are living. I was young out of university. And I had a position in Limes Trasimbao. Because all of them that are working in that position, everybody, everybody that works in the company, they have new plan buses, they are stealing from the company. They, everybody was stealing from the company. Immediately I got there, the, it was like a fire. It was like a fire. I pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister. That you know, understand. That there is no one like Jesus. Live for Him. In our generation, people don't see, many people don't see the value and how it is to live a righteous life. Because the devil has sent many and they are deceiving. I would every day say that the gospel of end time, we have been deceived by many of the end time charismatic leaders. Many of them. But I pray that you know the truth and worship and live a righteous life. Go to a place, not every church. You go, you meet Jesus. Again, listen to me. 
Not every church. Not every church. Not every place of God. You go, you meet Jesus Christ. Go to a place where but you hear the word of God and you continue to live in His grace. May the Lord open the heavens unto us and grant us peace in the name of Jesus Christ. The battle belongs to God. Again, the battle belongs to God. He said, when so and only Israel heard those words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. At times you hear a message, maybe you go to the, the doctor and go and see a physician, and that sickness, the doctor will say that you is going to have a surgery, you're going to do this, you're going to go through this, and fear will grip you. Yes. I remember I stood beside a lady I was praying for, and the way she was crying, my heart was broken. But thank God, every day God bring healing to His people. God will bring healing. When you come to that point of tears, be like Hezekiah. Hezekiah chose between two opinions. God sent a messenger to go and tell Isaiah to go and tell Hezekiah, put your house in order. Because you are going to die. You are not going to. This sickness will take you. Hezekiah had an option to sit down and wail and cry. Sit down and wail and cry. And cast blames. But he chose the right. The Bible says he turned his face towards the wall and began to challenge God. How he has lived faithfully. He has a memorable life before God. He has something to turn God's to. And the Bible says he prayed. He prayed. And by praying, God sent the same messenger who went to Hezekiah to tell Hezekiah, you are going to die. He said, go and tell him, I have had 15 years to his age. Why? He chose the right way. He decided to put fear away. He decided to put memory away, complaints away, casting blames away, and chose Jesus Christ. He decided to go before God, choose Jesus, you live. The same thing happened to Paul and Silas. After they cast the, the demon out of that little girl that the master was using to make money, when he read us of the Apostle 16, and they, they started lying on them and the, these men were put in prison had it be somebody today begin to cast blames and say many things but instead of casting blames they did one thing the bible said at midnight paul and silas they began to pray and sing songs change your situation and begin to sing songs and in James chapter 5 verse 13 He says, is anyone among you troubled? Is anyone among you in trouble? Pray My brother, my sister When trouble comes The only way to come out Is through prayer If you don't pray out You will never break through Pray through When you pray through You break through Hello, Hallelujah There are many people There are many Paul and Silas Begin to pray they begin to rejoice. They begin to sing songs. Go and read it as of the Apostle 16.25. The Bible says, And their people that were standing, the guards, heard them singing and praising God. I believe somebody will tell them they are crazy. They don't know what they are doing. Sometimes we know people will call us crazy people. People will call us and they will laugh at us and say that we don't know what we are doing. I, I pray that you know what we know. I pray that you know what you know and you encounter what we have encountered. That there is only one way, and it's Jesus Christ. It's Jesus Christ. Many people, the Bible says, and the, the gods heard Paul and Silas, where they heard Paul and Silas singing songs and praising God. Paul and Silas chose between two things. They could have sat down and complained and said that we are not going to mention the name of Jesus again. We are not going to mention the name. We will just keep quiet. But instead of sitting down and complaining and casting blames, they chose the right way. And the opposite is rejoicing. And God answered them with an earthquake. I pray that God will answer you right now. The God answer by fire. Let that God be your God. In the name of Jesus. 
God answer them. That the Lord Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. There is no other God. His name is Jesus. Demons fear that name. When you mention that name, there are a group of people, when they hear that name, they want to kill, they want to destroy. And that, why? Because that name, there is power in that name, and they bring healing. They bring healing, and that name is Jesus Christ. Not everybody understand. Not everybody who knows that name, believe in it. Not everybody. But trust in Him. Again, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. His name is Jesus. What is your trouble? Paul and Silas, they, they, they decided to pray. And by praying, the Bible says, God sent an earthquake. Go into the Bible. A time that many people, that's time Mordecai, when they heard, they received a letter that they were going to kill all Israel. We have a choice. Between you and your sickness, if you're going to sit down and fold your hands and say, this sickness is going to kill me, decide, begin to wail, begin to complain, begin to sit down. Hey, let me be honest to you. Nothing can save you. Nothing. But decide to throw away your, your thoughts and everything and continue be, to believe in God. Even when it is difficult, you say it all. The Lord does <laughs> Ezekiel to prophesy. And he said, immediately I began to prophesy, there was a noise. There was a noise, there was a shaking. May the Lord begin to bring noise and shaking and break things together for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord do it. And cause smile in your face, in your family, in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well. Esther, who was in the palace, but Mordecai has sent a message and think not that you are in the palace. Who knows that you have come into the kingdom such a time as this? Who know? My brother, my sister, who know why this message is coming at this time? Listen, the battle belongs to God. Let me whisper into your ears and your understanding that the battle that you are before, whether you like it or not, <laughs> it rains everywhere. <laughs> Nobody can say that. No, there's storm everywhere. So whether you like it or not, you have to face it. But how to face the rain is to prepare yourself and make a shade. A shade whereby you can run and hide under. But if you say that you are running from one place to another, you get to that place and the rain is still there. Troubles are everywhere. All you need to do is stand in the power of the Holy Ghost and win. And when and the Lord bless you, all that Esther told Mordecai, go gather your people and fast for, for, for me. It was impossible. It was not time for me to go to the king, but I'll go. I am talking about the battle belongs to God, where Saul and his men, the Bible says Saul and his men, they were great in fear. They were greatly in fear. They stood and they were in fear because of, uh, again, First Samuel 17, verse 11. He said, when Saul and Israel heard those words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Throw your fears away. At the beginning of this month, this month, we have begun a new month. And in this month, my prayer is that you throw your fears away and begin to, to have faith in God. The Bible says without faith it's impossible to please him. And everyone that comes to him must believe that he is. And he is reward of them that diligently, diligently seek him. The Lord will, will reward you. The Lord will come in for your situation. And the Lord will lift up his hand in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. And open the heaven will continue tomorrow. And we are going to enter into a time of prayer. And before that, let me lead somebody to the Lord. The Bible says with the heart we believe and mouth confession is made that Jesus is Lord. One day our Jesus will come. And so say this after me. Say Lord Jesus to the eye. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. The voice says if anybody be you, he is a new creature. All things are past. And everything become new. As I believe in you. And you go down my steps. Until you come or come from this earth. In Jesus' name, somebody find a church and go. Find a church 
There are good churches. There are good churches. Not every church you go, you meet Jesus Christ. Look, don't just go <laughs> for going sake. Go to a place where you find salvation. In the place where the Holy Spirit can lead you and go to heaven. Uh, the word of God says, if we gain the whole world, then loses our lives. And so, it is not what you gain, but where you find life in Jesus Christ. God bless you. Begin to thank God. Just open your mouth and let's begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. Let's enter into a time of prayer and say, Father, I thank you. Somebody shout it and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Begin to thank God. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you. We are thanking our God. We are blessing His name. Karabrunda zebranda daba. Open your mouth and begin to thank Him. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank God for your life. Thank God for the beginning of this month. Yes, Lord. say Lord, I thank you. From January until now, we just thank God for the months, the days, the minutes. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. I appreciate God. It is not that you are rich or handsome or tall or short. It is grace that has been lavish unto you. It is not how strong you are. It is not how wise you are. Just thank God for sin. A day for sin. Open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for this day. I thank you for the protection. The Lord says that he is with us. The Bible says, if the Lord has not been with us, let Israel say, it is God who has protected us. It is God who has been. We are thanking God. Ragadabujanda. Branda Zika, a boje cata brunda de boje cadaba, a boja cata da branda zu corona briadaba, a zibranda de boronda briada boje cadaba, a zibrande corona briada boja cadaba. In the name of Jesus, somebody found the Lord, bless the Lord, and say, God, I thank you for even all this trouble, all this pain that you have caused me to survive. In the name of Jesus, just open your mouth. And thank God everywhere. Bless the name of the Lord. Just bless His name. And say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. In Jesus' name. The Bible says that the Philistines gathered somewhere and the Israelites gathered somewhere. I don't know the Philistines that are up against your life. I don't know. Hey, we all have different Philistines, but one common enemy, the devil, the devil. The Bible says we should submit to God and resist the devil and he will flee. When we submit by knowing and coming to God, humbling ourselves, we are praying against any demonic feelings that any demonic Goliath that wants to defile you that have put fear in your life wherever they are wherever they are hiding wherever they have covered themselves where that they are fighting your life spiritually may the tender of God look at them say this say in the name of Jesus Say it up, me. Say in the name of Jesus. Again, say in the blood, the blood of Jesus. Every demonic Philistine or demonic Goliath, any evil spirit, any witchcraft, any spirit that is fighting me secretly, wherever they have gathered, wherever they are, I command the Holy Ghost, I command the tender of God into their camps, into their holes, everywhere they are hiding under the rock in the in their holes, in their tents, in the villages. May the Holy Ghost locate them. May the tender of God locate them. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Elijah call fire. Let the fire of Elijah locate them. The God that answered by fire. Let it be your God. Every demonic feelings that demonic Goliath that troubles your life. It can be a sickness. It can be fear. <laughs> Barrenness, it can be divorce, it can be anything. Pray in the name of Jesus, pray and say, Lord, it can be your children. No child will say, I want to destroy my life, I want to destroy my destiny. They are very weak.
wicked, they are very wicked. They can sit at the place and begin to remote and control. If you are not strong in the spirit, pray and say, Lord, everyone, every spirit, every demon from my mother's family, from my friend, my father's family, from my friends, any demonic line, any demonic covenant, demonic altar, demonic spirit, sacrifice that is fighting me. May the Lord, may the Holy Ghost strike them. The blood of Jesus. Command the blood. Command the blood. Command the blood. And send it everywhere. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Every demonic Goliath, any demonic spirit that is fighting me secretly, that is hiding themselves and fighting my life, fighting my destiny with all this effort, with all this in life. Yes, there is no progression. My life is in retrogression. Every demonic limitation, every demonic limitation, every demon is, that is hanging over my life. I command fire. I command them to pray with us. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying. Call the name of Jesus. Somebody call the name and say in Jesus' name. The Bible said the mention of the name Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit, every demon, every witchcraft camp that is fighting, receive fire, receive tender, receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Somebody pray. Rakata Bojen de de Branda Zukoro, a Panda da Bronda Branda Zukoro, no Riadaba, a Bujanda da Boronda Briada Boshi Kadaba. Oh, pray with us, pray with us, pray. Say, Lord, I pray into every secret camp. I pray into every camp that is fighting me. Let that camp receive the fire of God. Let that enemy, enemy of your destiny, enemy of your success, enemy of your progress. Yeah, let that enemy. We are praying against demons. We are praying against witches and wizards. We are praying against them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Rika da bojende de branda zukorono priyadaba. Isibanda da borono priyadaba. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We are praying. Hey, no, do not let anybody tell you there is a man of God in Ghana says that there is no witch is a wizard. He himself is a witch. He himself is a witch. And he's working for them. Don't let them deceive you. They are eloquent. Jesus said that if you don't take it, they will even deceive the elect. We are praying. We are praying against spirits. We pray against every demonic Goliath, any demonic Goliath, any demonic spirit that have a hold over your life. Many are dying, many are failing because immediately you are growing. You go to some family, they are destroyed. Here they have destroyed and killed all the potent men and women. Those who have life in them, they will kill you if you don't pray. If you don't pray. Some of us, you don't know what we have gone through, what we are going through. If it has the Lord not been on our side, because <laughs> you grow, it's like a, a flower, a tender plant. You grow beautiful and nice. They would, they would, I, every day will say, Africa, especially with are at the West, if, it, takes, it will take the grace of God. It will take the grace of God because we are so wicked that we don't want anyone. Family going to their families, the witches and the witches, they will destroy everybody in the family. And the sad thing is that the same people who are destroying the same people who tend them, themselves and come and ask for money. We are praying in the name of Jesus. We are praying and say, Father, any spirit, any demon, any witch in my mother's family, my father's family, the Bible says, Suffer not a way to live. We are praying against them. That those who fight and militate against. Let me tell you this. The witches and the wizard. It is, you see, it is their obligation. When they, they mount on their wings. If they want to drink water, they drink their water is blood. Their meat is flesh. And so every night they have to go. And when they mount in the spirit, 
the mountainous will they have to drink they have to enjoy their will and everything and so if your life become liable they will use you I look at the number of them in the world then every every time the mountain the spirit you sit down and give excuses <laughs> and follow the evil and demonic men that will say there is no witches there are, they are evil they are witches you follow them they will use your life for sacrifice <laughs> by the time you realize you realize it in your grave they are evil I pray in the name of Jesus I ever once told somebody that there is there has never been any man or woman who have gone to the market to buy meat and have ever thought of that that animal that cow you never thought because it's your it's food you know you don't have any thought you go in you buy it and come home and eat the same thing the witches and the wizard they didn't have that is their meat yes their food until they come to the front they realize we are praying against everyone, every spirit, everyone that have made your home, your life, your, your family a target. The Bible says we rest not against flesh and blood. The child of God understand it. The only thing is to find your place and position in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ. I am not talking about going to church. Everybody goes to church. The devil even go to church. Everybody can preach the gospel. I can preach it and preach it and, and live here and have a double life. Everybody can preach. Nowadays, even the, the devil is using most. I will tell you that the most of the preachers that are preaching now, but now, now in this generation, about 98% of them are false. 98%. 98%. They're using the gospel. It's only few that wants to go to heaven. They want to preach to people to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Few. We are praying. You are praying. Pray with me. That every spirit, every demon, every way that have considered your life, they will destroy. May the spirit of God, may the Lord, the blood, the Bible said they overcame him by the blood. When you read Revelation 12, let the blood of Jesus be a permanent wall of fire. And let the earthquake that went into Paul and Silas prison locate them wherever they are hiding. Wherever they are hiding, open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, whoever is following my life like this Goliath, is fighting my life. Goliath caused trouble. And the Bible says, Saul and his men, they were afraid this me and they were running away. You are praying in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray a child of God if you pray through you break through it's only one thing that God has given to us is to pray Jesus told them pray that you enter not into temptation so pray open your mouth wherever you are and say father any demon any witch any spirit that is fighting my lion any demonic spirit there are objects that are standing there are covenant there are rituals there are voodoo's there are occults they are everywhere they are fetish priests, they are witches, they are voodoo men, they are malams everywhere, and they are fighting spiritually, open your mouth and say whoever is fighting my life, may the tender of God, may the fire of Jehovah I pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus use the name and the blood through the Holy Spirit, pray, there is no name given unto man except the name of Jesus use that name and say Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood the name that demons fear the people fear that name it is so powerful i have come to know that the name is above every name when you mention it heaven shake mention the name and say i pray in the name of jesus i pray against them every demon every witch wherever they are let the fire of jehovah let the tender of god look at them look at them look at them look at them pray with us somebody pray Pray with us and say, My God, my God, my God. I pray to my mother's family. I pray to my father's family. I pray to my friends. Every spirit, let the fire of Jehovah locate them. Let the tender of God locate them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Again, we are praying. There are certain Goliaths when they come into our lives. 
we don't see them there are people there are some people your problem may emanate from people who are closer there are friends i every day say that we, we walk with a friend until the lord opened my eyes that he was sent into our life <laughs> to destroy there are some goliaths they are not tall they are not they don't they come and show love they come and humble themselves but they are demons Friends, I am talking about friends, people around us and people around the community. We are praying in the name of Jesus. We are praying in the name of Jesus. That anyone that the enemy has sent into your life, they are very wicked. They will walk with you and pretend that they love you. But they will be. We are praying in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Yeah, very spirit, everyone that have come into your life to destroy. May the Lord arise. May the fire of God locate them wherever they are. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, my brother, and begin to pray with us. Pray and say, Lord, I pray. We are praying against every demonic Goliath that is causing that sickness, that is causing that delay, that is causing that retrogression, that is causing that barrenness, that is causing that divorce, that is causing that child to be raised from the purpose of his life. Pray in the name of Jesus. Zantata. Brando Coro, e Panti di Branda Zu Corono Riadaba, e Cando do Borandi Cadabo Jandadaba, e da Borona Riadabo Je Cadabo. Somebody pray with us. O Pioma Fair, pray in the name of Jesus in Tada Borona Riadaba, e Corono Riadabo Ja Cadaborona Riadaba, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Pioma Fair, pray. Pray with us. Use the blood, use the name command the blood there is power in the blood say father any demonic goliath in my life it can be a relative it can be an auntie it can be an uncle it can be a brother it can be a sister it can be a relative somewhere hiding but because that person is a relative can be a brother it can be a sister because that person is closer to you you may tend to forget and know pray the father every demonic enemy in my life whoever is the trouble of the sickness is the trouble of the divorce is the trouble of this my children my life of your mother and say there are many people who children is going through that it can be a friend it can be a brother let the tenor of Jehovah say the sickness whoever be behind the sickness oh Jesus oh Jesus any altar let the Holy Ghost fire burn that altar as Elijah called fire to consume that altar. Pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, somebody call the name and pray against every demonic altar, any hidden altar, any hidden covenant, any hidden altar, any evil wish, any demonic wish against your life. Everywhere they are gathering, Lord, I pray into my Father's family, my mother's family. I pray in the name of Jesus. Zika to Brunda. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Rakadobo Shendi de Branda Zukoron of Riadaba. E Bojanta Tabranda Zukoron of Riadaba. E Bande de Bracolo Bojendi de Branda. Zukoro, Ankanda da Buja Branda Zibranda de Boronda Briadaba, Ekanda da Branda Zibojen de de Branda Zukoro, Eboja Kada Bojan de de Branda Zukoraba, Ebojen de de Branda Zukoro no Briadaba. Call the name of Jesus, whoever is fighting secretly against your success, against your job, against your life, against your children. Pray in the name of Jesus. Abojan de de branda su corono briadaba. In the name of Jesus. Tanda boje ka branda su corono briadaba. First Samuel chapter seventeen, verse eleven. He said, "When Saul and all Israel heard these words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid." 
We are praying. I don't know what is causing you to be afraid in life. I don't know what is causing you to be dismayed in life. I don't know your trouble in life, but I want to pray with you that Father, anything that has become has something that is fighting me, causing pain, causing fear, that is troubling my life. I surround it to you, Jesus. I surrender. I bring it before you right now. That sickness. Hey, Lord, somebody has married for many years and there is no child. You are not a barren woman. Man, you are not a barren. Somebody somewhere, ah, some people are wicked. Somebody can sit somewhere. And, and begin to lock that womb for the pain. Somebody can lock that marriage. There are many people whose home have been destroyed because of somebody. Let them that look at them. Let them fire of God Christ them wherever they are sitting. We are praying that whoever is causing that pain, the trouble, we are praying. Let the fire of Jehovah remember David prayed that prayer in Psalm 35. Say, Lord, fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of your shield and your buckler and come for my aid. We are praying against every demonic in the spirit and the spirit that wage war against your life that are fighting you. Let fire in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, I pray once again into my life into my destiny every demonic altar that stands in my mother's family in my father's family that wage war against my life my health my destiny my children i can say lord jesus in the demonic witchcraft camp that wage secret war against my life in the demonic altar in the demonic covenant rituals in the demonic case in the demonic utterances in the demonic wish that is fighting my life my destiny wherever it's coming from oh god arise god arise and let that enemy be scattered pray the holy ghost into your mother's family into your father's family into your spouse family pray it around your neighborhood your community your friends pray it into your workplace every spirit that is not of god receive the fire of the holy ghost let that spirit receive the tender of god in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Somebody call the name of Jesus, call the name of Jesus, call the name of Jesus. Oh, Pio Mavan, call the name of this. Pray this month. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We are praying our last prayer. We are committing this new month. This new month, this month of November, you are praying and say every demonic plans of the enemy against your life, against your children's life, against your husband's life, against your wife's life, against your life. In this month, you are praying the Holy Ghost. Remember the Bible said day by day, the angel went before them in the pillar of clouds, and by night the pillar of fire. Let the Holy Ghost go before you. Every accident, every mistake fortune. Everything that the enemy plans, we cancel it. And we command the Holy Ghost to bring testimony, miracle. Let this man be your month of testimony. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, Lord Jesus, say in the name of Jesus, in the blood, the blood of Jesus. I pray and I command the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, pray committing the month of November. Yes, November, the eleventh month. Pray and say, Lord, Holy Ghost, absolute control. Pray and commit the days, the second, the minutes, the hours, the days and the weeks, and the months. In the name of Jesus, let the days, the month, the second be protected by the blood. Let the Holy Ghost go before you. We crush every demonic arrow. We crush every terror by night and day. We crush every spirit 
that waste we Christ them by the power of the Holy Ghost and in the name of Jesus let the Spirit of God that open every door let the Spirit of God bring to pass testimony let the God order her steps may the Lord order your steps into your greatness may the Lord bring healing in the name I command it in the name of Jesus Papa heal your people those who are praying for healing I pray I pray for healing let the blood of Jesus die in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in Jesus name Amen God bless you God rich and bless everyone that is watching us God bless you everywhere that you are watching us may the Lord bless you may the Lord cause his face to shine and give you peace in the name of Jesus again happy new month to everybody happy new month may the Lord bless you all we will see you back tomorrow god bless you all thank you my big sister Stanley. god bless you god bless you my brother and pastor man of god daniel ramley all the way from training thank you for standing with us every day my brother god bless you god bless you and god bless my brother pastor steve Junior, God bless you. Pastor, brother Nato Sables, God bless you. Oh, good morning. And God bless you. Man of God, Santi Clement, God bless you. Thank you for everyone that is listening to us. Again, Pastor Ramley, Daniel, God bless you. God bless you. See you all tomorrow at the same time. God bless you. Love you all. Bye.